look at that. Oh, it's some yarn that I've never seen in our mystery box. It's so exciting. Hi, everybody. It's Crystal, your favorite yarn junkie, here again to show you some yarn, <clears throat> which I love to do so much. So thank you for joining me. Um, first off, I do not have a tutorial for the set. I did crochet it, though, but um, and it is my own design. But I did not do a tutorial on it. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I used to do tutorials on every single thing I crochet, but I found that quite stressful because tutorials take me a long time. So I actually sat in bed uh, the other night and watched a movie and I made this and I did not do a tutorial. And I will not have tutorial on this hat. It's my own special hat. But anyways, I do have like almost 150 hat tutorials. So check those out. Let's talk about though what this video is about. It's about a mystery box from Kramer Yarns. Now, I bought mystery boxes from Kramer Yarns many, many times, and I always find them to be worth it. But I will have... Now, if you're not familiar with Kramer Yarns, they are a small family-run mill in Pennsylvania. They mill their own yarn. Um, <clears throat> but I will have to say that if you have an allergic... Uh, allergic to wool, I probably wouldn't recommend buying their mystery boxes. Because what it is, it's a mystery boxes of millens, like but they don't have labels so um a lot of times so you can look on their website and kind of match it up but they do mill yarns for other companies so you don't really know you know um a lot of the times they're full full balls and sometimes they're not but let's look and check it out now today is 2 21 2023 at the making of this video and they have two different size mystery boxes they have 10 pound and 20 pound i bought the 20 pound a few days ago they no longer have the 20 pound, but they do have the 10 pound available. And um, experience tells me that the 20 pound, the 10 pound is the exact same as the 20 pound, except for double the amount. So um, the 10 pounds are on 42, 45. They did go up a bit, but that's expectable with the way the economy is today. And the 24 pounds are on 84, 95. Now you might think that's a lot, but you do get a lot of yarn in these. I'll tell you, how, I'll count up the balls and tell you. And that does not include shipping. Shipping depends on where you live. They ship it very fast. It comes within, to me, within about three days. I live in Illinois. This is coming from uh, Pennsylvania. Um, and it just depends on where you live. So it cost me about $100 with shipping for this mystery box. Let's look inside and we'll count how many balls we get. Usually it runs about, well, usually, like I said, with experience, um, I get about a, a, I get it to about a dollar a ball. It's usually close to in between 80 to 100 balls for one of these 20 pound ones and about half the amount for the 10 pound one, which is half the price. Okay, two minutes, three minutes in and I haven't even opened it. Let's begin, shall we? I will address the issue of Crystal, why do you wear two watches? I wear two watches because... I like to have more time, and there's never enough time in the day wearing two, three, four watches. It makes me feel like I have more time. And yes, they are all set to Central Standard Time. Are you ready? Let's look. I always like Clint Craver mystery boxes. I always like to show them. Uh, they never really disappoint, you know? Never. I've I, I never been disappointed. <laughs> Thank you for your purchase, Creamy Yarns, made by uh, our our family to yours. Nice. That's always in their mystery boxes. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's some yarn that I've never seen in our mystery boxes. So exciting. Let's check this out, shall we? Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Okay. I'm a weakling, though. All right. Um, let's look and see what we got. So this is nice. I like this. I've never seen this in their mystery boxes. It smells like it has wool in it, but I could be wrong. So I'm not going to really tell you what uh, fiber content it is because I don't know. You can usually look on their website, like I said, and check. But then again, you don't know. Now, these appear to be full balls. They just don't have labels, so you don't really know what it is. That's why I always say if you're allergic to wool... I recommend not buying from them, but if you're not, I highly recommend it. It's a good deal. So, um, this is beautiful. It's brown. See that? My favorite color ever. And then it's got flex. And it, see that? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty. I'm going to keep this one. I don't usually keep a lot of yarn from the Kramer Mystery Boxes. I generally give them away. 
But this is beautiful. So it's a, it appears to be about a four weight yarn. You know, I could tell there's wool in it. It's probably some type of wool acrylic blend, but it is scarfable and I will keep this. If I had to guess, it's probably about 200 yards per ball. Nice, nice. Smells like wool, like I said. And I got one, two, three. Sorry about my dog. I don't know what his problem is. Three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve balls of those. So that's another good thing. They always give you plenty to make a project. But remember, if you buy the ten pound, usually, um, not always, but from my experience, it's usually about half of what you see in a 20, in 20 pound box. So I got 12 balls of that. I like that one. How exciting. All right, so let's see what else we got here. We got some gray yarn here. Now this is very grabby and scratchy. So this is probably straight up wool, which would be good for felting. It's very scratchy. So this would be, you know, like I said, you can make a sweater out of this. This looks like a four weight. It appears to be about a full ball, probably 200 yards of a nice thick four weight there. Well, a nice four weight. Um, very scratchy. I wouldn't wear it against my skin. It's too scratchy. But you can make a sweater out of it as long as you wore a shirt, wore a shirt underneath it. Or it would be great for felting if you made something out of it and threw it in the washer. Um, on hot, it would felt up. I have a lot of felting projects on my uh channel in case you're interested in that so i got one two three five of those nice like i said i'm guessing probably about 200 bar balls 200 per uh ball and then i got one two three four five six of these green ones now i've had these green ones before and these maybe feel pretty close to full balls and some of them might not be so i'm going to say they range from probably about 150 yards to 200 uh yards of ball and there's what did i say six of these i have had this before i believe this is an acrylic uh maybe cotton blend if i can remember i don't know but it's like a three weight it's very pretty i like it but i like i said i've had this before so, sometimes they put the same yarns in their mystery boxes quite often, and sometimes they don't. And then um, I got two of the same darker green, one red. All right. Oh, that's pretty. I've had that one, I think. I'm not certain. Could have. May not have. But it's beautiful. All right. So, let's move on. Now, this is something that's very, very familiar with their mystery boxes. You see it in almost all their mystery boxes. It is their Fountain Heel Mohair Blend. So it's an acrylic mohair blend. I think it's only got about 10% mohair. I actually made a baby blink out of this. I mixed it with, it's because it's like a two-way yarn. It's very thin. I mixed it with an, uh, one, of, one of their four-way yarns in a similar blue. And it turned out really nice. It was really pretty and soft. So I like this a lot, but I get it a lot in their mystery boxes. So I don't generally keep it because I have I've had so much of it, and I already made a project out of it. But I did get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 balls of this. Nice, nice. All right, let's keep digging and see what we got going on. Okay, we got this red here, which is very beautiful. So this red is, again, it's not as scratchy as this gray. This gray is extremely scratchy, but... It is a wool blend, you can tell. Probably a wool acrylic. It's a nice thick four weight there. And it's a very pretty uh, brick red, I would say. Coppery, coppery brick red. <laughs> everybody, everybody sees uh, color different. I'm going to guess it's probably um, 175 to 200 yards per ball there. And it, it appears that I have got got uh would i wear this against my skin probably but it's still a little bit you know iffy for some people if you're sensitive i'm not really sensitive to wool at all so wool's my favorite but it it's it's fine for me and it appears that i got let me move some of these brown ones i love those brown ones Ugh. i got one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I got 12 of those as well. 12. 12. Okay, and then I got some of this. Is beautiful. I've had this. They put this quite a bit in their mystery boxes. Look at that blue. Of all the blues in the world, maybe it would be my favorite blue. Now, this is the same as these yarns that I showed you already. It's like a three weight. It's probably an acrylic cotton blend. I'm not 100% sure. Feels, you know, fine. It's the same as the green ones that I just showed you. But there are 12 of these navy blue ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I've gotten them in their mystery boxes before. And I've always loved that color from them. Okay. Yeah, 12 of those. And then we got some more brick red. Is this the same? No, it's like this brown, but it's red with flecks. Oh, I've never had that in their mystery boxes. Beautiful. And I actually think those would go good together, like in a blanket. You know, everybody thinks color looks different. And I can be honest to say that I'm not really great at putting color together. That's why I buy cell striping yarns or generally use solid. But what do you think? Yay or nay? teach their own right i think they would but you know what more than likely i won't keep the red because i'm a big fan of brown and i don't need all this yarn and i have 12 skeins of this brown here and i like it um that's enough you know you can make a sweater with that a pullover you know um uh if there's 200 yards i'm just guessing that's probably about right i would have about 2400 yards you know anything i could ever want to make i can make out of it so Anything I could want to make, I could make out of it. I can make it out of 2,400 yards. All right. And this is the same as that, only it's red. It's not much, it's not um, as orangey as a red as this thicker one. You can see the difference there. This is, now you can really see this is more coppery, coppery orange. This is more of a, but it's got flecks in it, like the brown. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah. See the yellow fleck? There are quite a few more flags than what's showing up on my camera. My lights here suck. I need to invest in some better lights, but I got 12 of these as well. Amazing. And let's see. Man, there's a lot of red in this box. I got I got one more yarn to show you. You know, I bought a lot of Kramer Mystery Boxes, and sometimes they give you a wide variety of different colors, and sometimes they just give you a lot of a few colors. This time, I think it was just about perfect, you know. They gave me... Um, when I bought 20 pounders before, it's usually in sets of 10. This is the first time I've ever got sets of 12. I'm not complaining. I love everything that I got. And sets of 12 just makes, gives me more yarn to do. Or if I give it away, more yarn to do with what I want. So this yarn right here is, is the Bombies. This is some boucle yarn. So again, more red. It's, uh, kind of a orangey red. Now I'm not a big fan of the boucle. It's like homespun. A lot of people like that though. I, I personally am not. As you can see, it's looped up there. It's usually a boucle, it's usually made up of three strands of yarn that are looped over each other, you can see. So this is like a dead ringer for a lion brand homespun. Um, so if you've ever used that, that's just what this is. It doesn't feel bad. This actually feels pretty good. It's just, uh, and there's 12 balls of this as well. If I had to guess, you know, it's a bulky weight there, you can see. If I had to guess, it's probably about 150 yards there of a bulky. Um, plenty enough to make something big. <sighs> Gosh, I made a coat one time. It's so pretty, but it's such an old video. And I always wanted to redo it. I made it out of, it's a long woman's coat. Or men's, it could be whatever you want. Um, out of out of homespun. It was, you know, a very, very old video. I probably made it six, six or seven years ago. And I always wanted to redo it because I always thought it was such a beautiful piece. But working with homespun was never really a... <laughs> that, that project probably did it for me on homespun. <laughs> but this red would be really pretty. And I have 12 balls over this. Probably plenty to make it. But you know what? In the end, I probably won't ever get around to redoing that because of my dislike for homespun it's okay yeah i'm just not a huge fan of it but anyways 12 of those so that is what was in my um let me look and make sure i got down all the way to the bottom sometimes they hide stuff 
There we go. That was what was in my Kramer mystery box this time. I am so excited. I love it all. Like, like I said, the blue is something that's very commonly found in their mystery boxes. This mohair. And so are these particular types of yarns are very commonly found. I've got them plenty of times. Um, the boucles every once in a while. Um, I would say every, if I, every one out of three boxes, I'll get some boucle. But not every box is the same. So if you bought from them, yours could be different than mine. I have never received any yarn like these two with flecks in them. I'm super excited to use these. I'll probably keep the brown. Um, although I do love the copper red. I do like, copper red's one of my favorite colors. It doesn't beat out brown for me. Brown is my absolute favorite. Um, so that's it. I could make a bag with this and felt it, um, which I would really love to do, but my felting tutorials never do well. I don't know why, but that's great. Let me count up my balls here. I can see how much I paid for ball. All right, I'm back. I, I counted that really fast and mine was like a split second. So I got, uh, in my particular box, now not every box is going to be the same. Now remember this is a 20 pound box. I got 92 balls of yarn, and almost all of them are full balls. From my um, assumption, I'm going to guess that they're pretty close to being full balls. Uh, most of them are probably full. There are um, just a few that look like maybe not, like maybe three quarters or so. But I got 92 balls, and um, that was the 20 pound mystery box, which is um, $84.95, so $85. I had to pay shipping, so it cost me right, right, right around $100. And like I said, the shipping depends on where you're from. Um, super fast. So, you know, almost, a, you know, just a little bit over a dollar a ball is what I paid. I got 92 balls for like 100 bucks. So, that's a good deal. I always think Kramer Mystery Boxes are an excellent, excellent deal. Um, I, though, particularly extremely love wool. So, I, of course, I'm going to love everything that's in here. Um... Out of all this yarn, though, I'm probably going to keep this brown and make something out of it. It's something new. I've never seen Kramer put in a mystery box before, so I'm super stoked about that. I also like the red one that they use like that as well. So, um, remember, as of today, which is 2-21-2023, they don't have any 20-pound boxes like I have left, but they do have some 10-pound ones, which are 42-45 plus shipping. And, um... Like I said in the beginning, from my experience, you can always expect to get about half the amount that I did. I can't tell you if you're going to get the same. I have no idea. They're mystery boxes. You get what you get. But I've never not been happy with a mystery box. And my yarn always ends up running about a dollar a ball, including shipping somewhere around there. So I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. I love mystery boxes. So much fun. Even Kramer's. They're so cool. I love getting them. Lots of nice yarn to use. Lots of nice yarn to be to be used to make something beautiful out of the things you can make. What should I make with this? You let me know. This is my favorite. The brown with the flex. What would you like to see made with this? I got enough to make anything I want. What would you like to see? What would you make yourself? Let me know. So I'll see you guys in my next video, all right? Hit that like button if you enjoyed my video, all right? I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.